the Aldra Brook and legally female now. Alright, today is the anniversary of my court date for that uh, little stitch I just did. Um, I know that was the 19th, but my actual court date was today, last year. So, it's been quite a year. Um, there's some stuff I'm not going to get into, but it was like a minor inconvenience, but that's not for here, so, but, um, yeah, it's been a great year, um, been on HRT, this will be, I've been on HRT since, um, Last year would have been my first year, so this, I just passed my two-year mark, so. One year for being Alderbrook, two years for HRT, so. And also, let me add to that, one year as being my gender legally female, so. And since then, I had updated my birth certificate to reflect my name and gender, so my birth certificate does say female, my driver's license says female, and has my uh, legal name on there, and updated, like, at work, I've been out for work for almost a year now, so, and one of my co-workers, I kind of figured, uh, that somehow he would uh, know because um, I, I have a couple of his relatives on Facebook, so. And I figured, like, all right, they're probably going to tell, uh, uh, mention this in passing. So, like, so, yeah, he, I like, I looked at him, like, I, I asked him, like, yeah, you might, you might, might have already known about this, but he's like, yeah, like, uh, I, you know, one of the relatives you graduated with told me, so. And anyways, well, I don't know if I graduated with them, but I, I had classes with them, so. But anyways, uh, yeah, like, I updated, like, stuff where, for my apartment, uh, any of my banking institutions, where it's my actual bank, um, my credit cards, and most of my bills and um especially my phone is but um like the first thing i did was even before i got the name change i updated my uh caller id for my cell phone so did that then later on i changed my the billing for it and they even said like oh let me check to see if you have your updated caller id like, well oh please do i think i might have done it but just double check like well it's it went through, so, like, all right, good, so, and, yeah, and, um, and I've been going to, uh, trans meetings to help out other, uh, trans folks, um, trans femme, trans mass, non-binary, um, so, and that's been good, and I am, like, a coordinator, co-host, uh, uh, for that as well, so, that's been, that's been fun for me, and, yeah, I'm not sure what else to add, and, I did make a coming out video on Facebook last year. I scripted it, scripted that. This one is not scripted at all. So, this is coming from pure up here. So, this is on the fly. So, 
Yeah, and I'm going to reiterate for the ones who did see the, uh, watch that, my coming out video, I'm going to quote two things. One for Mary Lambert, her song Secrets, like, um, that we're all trying to hide our, uh, from, or something, something to the effect of, uh, that, um, um, hiding something deep in uh, inside ourselves, uh, I'm over it. I've been over it. And to quote the song um, from The Great Showman, um, that I am brave, I am bruised, this is who I'm supposed to be, this is me. So, I know I probably butchered one or both of those uh, quotes, but, well, especially the first one, and I apologize for that, I'm, as I'm going off the fly, um, doing this uh, off the fly with this one, so, alright, um, thank you for watching, please check back every now and then, and this is probably like my first major life update for my anniversary for my name change and gender change so and hope to catch everybody around so see you later